trunk, I open up, I saw my soul a good price out of sight. You might hold got talent. Hi guys and welcome to Pan Tech Tips. And before we begin, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. AMD is shocking Intel every now and then. It is true that they did not launch any processors after the FX or Bulldozer series, but look at them now. AMD is unstoppable. The platform has matured a lot after the launch of Ryzen CPUs. They came with Ryzen first generation, then Threadripper, then we got to know about Vega Graphics, and after all of that, they launched Ryzen second generation, laptop CPUs, and a lot of other products. Intel had i3, i5, and i7 CPUs, and AMD launched Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, and Ryzen 7 CPUs. But AMD did not have any market in the Intel, Celeron, or Pentium category, for which now they have come up with redesigned Athlon with Redon Vega Graphics, AMD used to call a processor an APU when it had CPU and integrated graphics. But that's not the case now. These are all entry-level chips and AMD is claiming that you can play most eSport game in 720p. AMD has provided some key details about the A-series chips. AMD A-series 9000 chip would support AM4 motherboard and DDR4 memory and the A7000 series chip would be compatible with FM2 Plus motherboard and DDR3 RAM. So people who are already using a system with FM2 motherboards, they do not have to buy a new motherboard, they can simply upgrade AMD has also announced the Athlon X4 desktop processors which would need a discrete graphics card. All the chips would be AM4 socket compatible with support of DDR4 memory. The A series 800 model would be FM2 plus socket and DDR3 memory support. AMD has only provided all the details about a single processor which is Athlon 200GE. It will be a 2-core 4-thread CPU clocked at 3.2 GHz and the chips would not be unlocked. Yes, you heard me right. The base and boost clock for the chip would be the same. And 35W TDP, this chip will come with Vega 3 graphics which means 2 CPU compute units and 3 GPU compute cores. The L3 cache will be 4 MB and dual channel memory support. AMD has also shared some benchmarks of the Athlon 200GE when they compared it with the Intel Pentium 4560, a 54-watt base chip, their own A69500E and A109700 chips. The new Athlon 200GE is looking good for an entry-level system. It scored 67% more in GPU performance in 3D Mark and roughly the same CPU performance in Cinebench with 3% less score over the Pentium G4560. It also crushed the G4560 and A69500 in Blender and PC Mark, but in all other tests, it was performing roughly at the same level as G4560. This was unexpected but it had great numbers in games as well. With 65 FPS in Dota 2, 71 FPS in CSGO, 111 in League of Legends and 59 in Overwatch. And all the scores were at 720p. By the way, I will leave a link in the video description about all the products that we have talked about in the video. So then. Should you buy the new Athlon 200GE? I would say if you're a casual gamer and you need a combo for your day-to-day -day tasks, 200GE is a great choice for you. And in the future, when you want a game, you can simply upgrade to Ryzen 3, 5 or 7 because it is AM4 socket compatible. But if you are a hardcore gamer or someone into productivity, like video editing, 
this is definitely not the right choice for you.